Well, development is everywhere. All you have to do is look out your window right now to see that. It is changing the face of neighborhoods all over the city. And while many call this progress, others believe it is destroying some of the history here. The city is considering whether to require special permits for hotels to be developed in the neighborhoods like Greenwich Village. But some preservationists say it doesn't go far enough. Joining me now is Andrew Berman. He's the executive director of Village Preservation, the Greenwich Village Society for Historic Preservation. Andrew, it's great to have you here with us today. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. What is at stake here right now? Well, really the character of one of New York's great neighborhoods. Greenwich Village is known throughout the world. Uh, it's a beloved place. It's known for its history, its charm, its scale, its architecture. Um, and of course, it's a place that people live. It's a predominantly residential neighborhood. But what we've seen happen in the last couple of years, especially in the area south of Union Square, is this transformation of the neighborhood into an extension of Midtown, and particularly of Silicon Alley, which mm -hmm. is the sort of neighborhood north of 14th Street, where the tech industry has been really concentrated for years. But now, because it's booming, it's expanding south of 14th Street into this neighborhood. And we're losing historic buildings, residential buildings, being replaced by office towers and the city's uh, encouraging that as opposed to trying to manage it. So tomorrow the city planning commission is considering requiring special permits for future hotel construction in the village and parts of the East Village. Uh, would that help you? What will that mean for your group? Unfortunately it will almost not help at all and that's part of the problem is that we've been demanding some sort of action by the city and we're being given this which really misses the mark in terms of addressing the problem the city's own analysis says that if this goes through and it's implemented instead of getting hotel development replacing residential buildings and historic buildings we'll get office towers instead so for us it's really cold comfort we want to we want to really protect and reinforce the predominantly residential character of the neighborhood it's a, it's a vital neighborhood with places that people shop, go to the theater, um, hear, hear live music, but it's not an office district. We've got Midtown, we've got the Financial District, downtown Brooklyn, Long Island City for building office buildings. This is a predominantly residential neighborhood and we've got a ton of history. The city's own analysis says we're gonna lose some great historic buildings under the current conditions and they're really not doing anything about changing that. So would you say you're opposed to any high-rise construction in these neighborhoods? I wouldn't say uh, absolutely under any circumstances, but we certainly want to make sure that our historic buildings are preserved. We want to make sure that the predominantly residential character of the neighborhood is preserved, and we don't think this is the right place for a, an office district. Um, it's really not where Midtown needs to expand to. So as long as we can keep those things that make the village the village, we're totally okay with new development and with change. We just want it to complement the character of the neighborhood, not destroy it. So I guess the million dollar question is, how do you balance that preservation and continue to make progress in a place like New York City. Sure, absolutely. And the two are not mutually exclusive. I mean, if you look at some of New York's best preserved neighborhoods, they're also some of the most dynamic and ones that have transformed dramatically over the last 30 or 40 years. Look at Soho, which mm -hmm. used to be a, a, an abandoned uh, uh, former manufacturing district. Now it's this incredibly vital neighborhood where people would kill to live, where there's a ton of shopping, there's still some galleries, museums, etc. Certainly Greenwich Village, which is for the most part, except for this area, preserved through landmark designation, certainly has flourished. And you see it in all five boroughs. Jackson Heights is a landmark neighborhood that's really um, become very, very vital in the years since it's been landmarked. Um, uh, Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn, the North Shore of Staten Island. So some of our most historic and well-preserved neighborhoods really contribute a lot to the lifeblood of the city in terms of economic development and in terms of change. So I guess what's your game plan? What do you do to continue getting the city to see that and to kind of make sure that all of these beautiful places are preserved in the way that you want them to? Sure. Well, for instance, we're going to show up in force tomorrow at this hearing. We're going to make sure that the city knows that this hotel's special permit plan isn't enough. Um, we want measures to protect the historic buildings in our neighborhood. We want zoning that reinforces the predominantly residential and low to mid-rise character of the neighborhood. Um, and we're going to keep fighting and keep pushing until we get that. I mean, we've had hundreds of people turn out for public hearings. We've had thousands of people write letters to the city. Um, we're hopeful that eventually they'll listen, but clearly they, they need to hear it a little bit more. And really, you need people to keep doing that, to keep writing letters, to keep making calls, and to keep showing up 
up at these hearings? Sure. I mean, the other side has the dollars, the lobbyists, the connections. We have the people power. So really what we need to do is make sure that people show up for these, uh, these public hearings and these events, that they write letters to their elected officials, that they come to our rallies and protests and make sure that our, our voice is heard. Andrew Berman, thank you so much for joining us today. Best of luck to you. We will be following that hearing tomorrow and letting all of our viewers here on CBSN know what happens. Thanks for Thanks having so me. much. Now we want to let you know we did reach out to the Department of City Planning and the Mayor's Office for comment. We will be providing continuing coverage for you as this story develops here on CBSN New York and of course over on our website, cbsnewyork.com.